Hey everyone, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. This reading is for Cancer. I wanted to thank you guys because anyone who's getting this particular video has donated to the channel and I really do appreciate you guys. I am gathering up some coins to buy a new computer for the channel. I'd like to get some new cards for the channel. There's a lot I'd like to do. As always, um, it takes the donations to help keep these channels afloat and I appreciate you guys so, so much. Anyway, let's get into it. This is your, I, I normally don't do 12 month readings. Uh, because I feel like you have the opportunity to change things. But the good thing about doing a 12-month reading is that you have the opportunity to change things. It shows you how things are lining up. If you don't like a particular month, say you look at April and say, I don't like the way April's going, you can change it in March and make sure that April goes another way for you, right? Um, and this is why it is, tarot is so important to us because it can show us what's coming and how to tweak it and change it. And, um, you know, you have free will to change anything. So let's get into it and see what's coming up. Um, like I said, I know people love 12 month readings. Um, so I don't blame you guys at all for wanting to have them. Um, so let's get into it. So for Cancer, Spirit and Angels, anyone for the highest good for Cancer, we need to know about 2020 and, or 2022, I'm sorry, what do they need to know about 2022, the year that's coming up? Is there anything Cancer needs to know? Wow, beautiful. Wow, at the bottom of the deck, Yin. This is such great energy. Blessed, serendipity, and yin. You know what this says to me? Just sit back and wait for your blessings, Cancer. <laughs> yin, allowing, receiving, right? Blessed and serendipity. This is something beautiful coming into your life that's meant to be. I'm going to stand these up here so that I know that they're not as easy to see, but we'll be talking about them as the reading goes on if we need to refer back to them. Blessed serendipity and yin this tells me your blessings are coming straight from the universe and you're just going to receive i love 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 it and you know what cancers are way overdue for this way overdue all right let's get into it um we are using i'm so sorry this was wisdom of the oracle we're going to use witch's tarot and we're probably going to clarify with everyday witch because they are my go-to get right to the point deck all right, spirit and angels, anyone? For the highest good, what do we need to know here for cancer? This is the cancer yearly reading. So here's what we're doing, cancer. Every, every spot is a month, okay? So we're going to start with January, and we're going to move our way right on down to December, okay? What do we need to know for cancer? What does Cancer need to know about this reading? Anyone with Cancer placements or anyone else who is guided to see this Cancer reading? What do we need to know? Blessed, serendipity, and yin. Let's get into it. Blessed serendipity and yin cancer reading for the year of 2022. We're going to start with January. What do we need to know about January for cancer? We got two, three. Okay. What do we need to know about February for cancer? February 2022 for cancer or anyone else who's guided. February you got three okay got a lot of um oh okay no it's only two all right what do we need to know about March for cancer March 2022 what do we need to know about March for anyone with cancer placements or anyone else who's watching got two okay wow that's a lot of stuck energy Okay, so in March, you have some seriously stuck energy. Actually, you have stuck energy coming up in February and March. So be careful, okay? That means, again, this is why we like to see things in advance, right? All right, so let's look at January, February, March, April. 
Um, let's talk about April for Cancer. Well, don't worry, I'm just laying them out right now. We are going to go over these and we're going to clarify them. These You guys paid for these readings and you deserve the best reading possible. Okay, so we've got January, February, March. Tell me about April for Cancer. What do we need to know about April for Cancer? Anyone with Cancer placements or anyone else who's guided to watch it? Cancer reading, April 2022. April. Okay, excellent. Two more fell out too. Okay. Wow, excellent. Something that was stuck is going to get unstuck. So this might not be your energy that's stuck. It might be someone else's. Something you're going to hear some good news in May. All right. Um, April, I'm sorry. May. What do we need to know about May for Cancer? What's important? Okay. Well, <laughs> how about June? I'm telling you, something big's coming, but it's good. Like, you're going to see a tower here, but this is all news that's coming in. So it's going to be like, news comes in. It's going to be a bit mind-blowing, but it's awesome. Okay, so don't freak out that you see this tower because in between the tower is the Page of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, and the Knight of Wands. This is like a very quick action, something coming in. I saw this as the Six of Wands for some reason till just now. So I saw this as a victory. But let's keep moving on and see what else we have here. June, July? No. Yeah, July. What do we need to know for July for Cancer? July for Cancer. Well, that's a lot. We're going to put them all back in because it's way, way, way too many. What do we need to know for July for Cancer? What's important? July. That's your birthday month, Cancer, for a lot of you. July. Okay, so you got the Three of Cups and you got the Four of Swords reversed as a challenge. So you're healing from something here. Um, it looks good though. I mean, there's a few cards that are sketchy here, but for the most part, your cards are really good. Tell me more for cancer here. What do we need to know? August, August, 2022, August, August. Okay. September. What do we need to know for September? No, I want one more on August. Give me another card on August. What do we need to know about this? A back up in your head again. What do we need to know about August? Okay. Oh, because some kind of information comes out. Okay. All right. So something's... Um, all right. Tell me about September. What do we need to know? September for Cancer. September. Wow. Absolutely. Whoa. Look at September. Whoo. The world and the Ace of Cups. This is when you're going to be closing out and starting something brand new here. Um, it's going to be really good. I want to get another card on the Knight of Wands. What do we need to know about the Knight of Wands? We're going back to June here. Nope. Too many. Just one or two. Knight of Wands. June 2022. Cancer reading. Knight of Wands. What do we need to know? Yeah, absolutely. That's exactly what I thought. Okay, so um, this is actually really good. All right, um, October. What do we need to know about October 2022? Cancel reading. Okay, another one for October, please. October. One more for October 2022. Cancer reading. October. Yeah. Okay. That's awesome. All right. So, um, November, what do we need to know about November for this cancer reading? November. Wow. That's way too many. November. What do we need to know about November? One or two, please. One or two. November, 2022. November. There we go. Okay. One more for November, 2022 cancer reading. It's like um, November 2022, Cancer Reading. What's important? November 2022, Cancer Reading. 
Okay. All right. So give me uh, December. December 2022 Cancer reading. December 2022 Cancer reading. Wow. All right. Um, that's way too many. I loved it that the Ten of Cups was there, but I can't take that many. Um, December 2022. What's important for Cancer? December, the last month absolutely okay um wow absolutely you are ending some kind of a cycle here um it could be with a leo um i want to get give me the two of cups reversed with the strength card or this is just the strength to uh, end some kind of partnership here tell me about the strength and the two of cups reversed. but everything else looks amazing so there's something beautiful and new starting but something's ending this could be any area of your life this could be work this could be business this could be anything tell me about the two of cups reversed with the strength card what do we need to know about it this also could be something about a partner and not directly about you November the two of cups reverse and the strength card yeah absolutely and the queen of swords absolutely I am going to tell you you have a ton of Libra in your reading so um you got a lot of Libra here it could be Aquarius could be Gemini but Libra stands out very strongly in your reading um, I want to find out what's going on with the Queen of Wands and the Wheel of the Year. Beautiful. Both in the upright. This is like uh, the end of your year. In December 2022, Queen of Wands and the Wheel of the Year for Cancer. Tell us more about it. This is like something big happening. Like you've got the Fool. You've got the Wheel of the Year. You have the world. This is huge. Tell me more about the Queen of Wands and the Wheel of the Year. What do we need to know? Two of Pentacles. Oh, reverse. All right, so you also have the Two of Wands reversed at the bottom. This is going to be a decision that you make that's going to spring you forward. Um, it's going to change everything. Now, if it's not you, it's going to be a fire sign and Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But I feel strongly this Queen of Wands is probably your energy coming through. Tell me more about the decision with the Two of Pentacles here. What do we need to know about it? We have Two of Pentacles reverse with the Wheel of Fortune. It's like the minute you make this decision, it takes you out of Five of Swords. This just fell. And I love the Five of Swords in this particular deck see the transformation there's little fairies all around there's this big butterfly moth showing the transformation it came out reversed even better whatever decision you make is going to take you out of these fives i mean not that you have a lot of fives either so i feel like this is something you've already been working on you go three of swords four of swords wait i'm sorry three of swords where is three of swords i thought you had it no i saw it at the bottom when this came out the three of swords was at the bottom of the deck i saw it um so you've already done the three of swords you've done the four of swords or your this has been your challenge this healing and you'll be moving into the five of swords in fact you'll be moving past it um to the six of swords which is right here reverse i feel as though I want to get one more on this. Tell me more about this Five of Swords reversed with this decision with the Two of Pentacles that turns the wheel of the year. Tell me more about what's happening here. Cancer reading. I know we've moved right to December here. Well, all the excitement comes in at the second part of your year here. That's really, I mean, it's big. Tell me more about this December reading. Yeah, so here it is, the three of hearts, uh, the three of hearts. I don't know why I just said that's so weird. The three of swords we were just talking about. You're going to come out of this. I fully believe it. You've been, this has been a difficult healing process for you. See how she stands here with the sword of truth in her hand after healing from the three swords that went in her chest. I feel like you've already been through all this, but this has all been, it's been difficult for you to actually move forward. It's been difficult for you to make any decisions and here we have the uh magician manifesting right i feel like you're manifesting yourself right out of whatever this is i feel like it was karmic whatever you went through before but we're, we haven't yet to even tap on this reading 
we have karma here at the bottom it did come out reversed i feel like you fulfilled some kind of karma contract the moon is reversed this is all like um it's like you you are getting past a time that was almost like um a time where things felt heavy they felt dark they felt like you didn't really know why you were stuck in this um like the hangman right you were stuck in this position for a long time and you're coming out of it it was a karmic cycle you were in and there you are queen of cups sitting right at the bottom of the deck i feel as though you're coming out of this these were just sitting at the bottom of your deck and i had already as i was doing this felt that you were in some kind of a karmic situation before like this is done you are blessed serendipity yin your new year comes in different um there's a little bit of stuck energy in the very beginning of your reading we have stuck energy well mostly yeah see the hangman's not really stuck the hangman's really all about putting yourself in an uncomfortable position to gain enlightenment and to move past something, to see something differently, to get enlightened, to get spiritually enlightened, to figure people out, to figure yourself out, to figure life out, and then they come out of it enlightened. See how the halo is around the hanged man or woman's head glowing. I have been enlightened because I now see things differently. I see things from a different perspective. And it's you, Cancer, right? We also have Seven of Swords here, which I'm going to ask about. I want a little clarity on why the Seven of Swords came out with this. I think you're going to move past something that could have been um, a person or a situation that you were kind of stuck in before that was, like I said, karmic. Um, but let me get, I want to move these out of the way. Hold on. These are big readings because you guys paid for these and you're getting the best, right? So you can't see them all, but I will talk to you about them all. Um, no matter how I try to squeeze these in, you won't be able to see them all. Okay, and, uh, but no worries, no worries. I will talk to you about them. All right, so at the, well, we'll get to the bottom. I love the end of your reading. I truly do. I mean, things get crazy around September. A crazy good crazy good around September all right so let's get into it spirit and angels anyone for the highest good what do we need to know about this cancer reading what are the most important messages you have for the people who need them the most what do we need to know about this reading help us clarify the cards that we've already laid down it's the yearly 2022 reading for cancer 2022 year in advance reading for 2022 cancer all right one more shuffle blessed serendipity and yin there's something blessed coming in for you cancer i mean and it's very serendipitous and it's very meant to be and it's you're gonna receive you're gonna be yin um so let's see what happens here let's talk about this seven of swords why did the seven of swords show up here with the hanged man in the chariot what about this seven of swords do we need to know seven of swords ten of cups death in reverse and the two of swords all fell out so i feel like could this be a, a this could be a scorpio who was doing something shady um and we have had i think we've had scorpio come up for cancer a few times recently so like this is could be a, a shady family member um this could be someone who um see how she's like making decisions um but she's blindfolded like this is someone who has to make decisions going off their intuition um you might be trying to make a decision about this person um, I feel like they're going to be a Scorpio or maybe a Pisces, but I doubt it. I feel that they're mostly, um, could be, could be, okay, could be um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Scorpio, Pisces, could be anybody, okay? But I feel like there's something here. Um, now, you're going to consider this person family or this could be love or this could just be you're making a decision about your happiness that has been stuck for a while. I mean, this might not have to do with a person, but there is something showing up. When I see death in reverse and seven of swords, I feel like somebody who could be Scorpio or could be um, 
Aquarius, Libra, Gemini could have, or now they could have it strongly in their chart. They don't have to be these signs. Okay. Remember that guys. Um, but I feel like someone could have done something a little sneaky shady or could have caused, um, you to have to make different decisions in your life, or you intuitively are picking up something about a person around you that, um, you don't trust there's something here you don't trust or somebody who did something to you that now makes you unable to trust them and you're trying to figure something out you're trying to use your intuition on whether or not you should trust this person and we have five of cups reversed so this has been draining for you this sits here at the bottom this has been a disappointment for you whatever it is about this person and i feel like it's a person for most of you all right, um, for some of you, it's just that you've had this stuck energy and you now, with the chariot and the ten of cups, you want to go for happiness again. You want to be enlightened. You, you're you seeing it differently and you're realizing that I got to get in my chariot and actually proceed forward and get unstuck from whatever's been holding me back because you have it again here with the um, six of swords reversed. This is another... Um, stuck energy but it's more about being like stressed out so in january you're trying to make a decision about something or someone and for some of you it's just make a decision on what to do where to go and how to get there right for others of you it involves a person who is coming through as a possible scorpio maybe maybe a pisces um and possibly an aquarius libra or gemini you're trying to make some kind of decision for some of you it's just your own decision about yourself moving forward but anyway, we have this. So we have a person here, a king of pentacles, could be male or female, who is stuck up in their head. Now you could be stuck up in your head about this person. We also have an emperor here who's in the upright. So keep that in mind. So if you're um, a masculine, um, this, could, this emperor could be you. If you're not a masculine, you could this emperor somehow has something to do with you whatever that is this could be a boss this could be a husband this could be a brother this could be a father it could be anybody anybody okay so whatever it is you're either up in your head about this person or them you or there's two of them involved and you're trying to make a decision because there are a couple cards here that have you stressed out trying to figure something out you could be trying to make a decision about a job and I see that in here as well as a person or um, a decision about a partner in some way. I feel like there's some decision you're trying to make. But as we come out of January, we go into February where you're feeling this up in your head about something. It either has to do with one or two people. And you're trying to, um, I feel like you're just um, stressed out about something there's something that's got you up in your sorry guys i'm plugging in the computer there's something that's got you up in your head about this um, about one of these people or both of them because one of them could very well be representing you all right so when i see okay so when i'm looking at february and i see the king of pentacles reversed and i also see the knight of pentacles reversed over here and i also see the four of pentacles over here and I also see, again, the death card in reverse. There we go. I feel as though you're dealing with someone, the King of Pentacles, who did something with money. There's something about money going on here. And I feel like this King of Pentacles could be a Scorpio or they're going to have a, they're, they definitely have a strong Scorpio placement. I see it all over this reading. This person has a strong Scorpio placement, whether you realize it or not, or whether you know them as a Scorpio, you could know them as a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. This person did something that involves greed. Okay, so in January, you're trying to see things from a different perspective, or you're trying to be enlightened about this person, and you're trying to make decisions about them without having all the answers. In February, you're up in your head about something to do with this person. Um, you, there might be another person involved as well, this emperor, or this could just be your energy, you needing to take some kind of action about this person. All right, now you do have the yin card. So I feel like for most of the year, you'll be receiving. Your blessing is you receiving. Okay, so I mean, each month is going to be different where you need to take an action or not take an action. But your blessing that's coming 
For the year in 2022, this blessed serendipity yin, you will be receiving a blessing of some sort. All right, so January, February, and then there's March. We've got March here where we see the greed. We see again the death card and we see the four of pentacles, the greed card. Now keep in mind, for me, every month up here, there's something about this. You've got the sneaky shady person with the death card as well, right? Um, you've also got the king of pentacles in reverse who could be a very greedy king, all right, or queen, whoever it is. When I look at this over and over again, I see someone who did something with money. All right, so that's January, that's February, that's March. This person is coming through as a strong Scorpio, but they could also be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. All right, I know it's a lot, but they're here all over the reading. All right, and then as we come into March, there it is again, the Knight of Pentacles reversed, right? Now, right next to it <laughs> is... Hey, I got news about the money. Look at the page of wands announcing something about the pentacle, the ace of pentacle that's been withheld that we haven't gotten. If this is a job, if this is a financial situation, if this is a new beginning of any kind, whatever it is, whoever's been holding back in January and then February and then March, something comes out in April that changes it all. Okay, something happens. And when you look at it, this page of wands is looking right at this knight of swords and tower. And it's like, there's the information speeding in, coming in, and it blows your mind. It's like, I've got something to say, and boom, something happens here. Now, keep in mind, this also could be a sudden forward motion. It's like, we get this news about whatever this is that has been uh, Seven of Swords, uh, King of Pentacles reversed, Four of Pentacles, and Knight of Pentacles, all reversed and withheld and kept away, right? And then, boom, this information comes in. It gives you a gorgeous new beginning. And then it comes in with like out of nowhere. And we have some serious forward movement here. And that's what I think it mostly is because right next to it, is the Knight of Wands, Eight of Wands. This is some serious fast motion. It's out of nowhere. It's like we get the information, the tower comes in and this information about this beautiful Ace of Pentacles comes in and it's full speed ahead. So I'm looking at this like January, February, March is all about something murky going on some kind of um, sneaky or something that's going on with money or someone um, not being on the up and up. And then April, May, and June is all about this sudden information that comes in. It blows your mind. It has to do with a gorgeous Ace of Pentacles new beginning. The Page of Wands with this beautiful energy comes in and it's like full speed ahead and it's it's all, because it comes in with the tower it's like out of the blue this is a really cool reading okay and then we get into july where we have this three of cups this is beautiful happy energy crossed by a healing with the four of swords now i already told you i've seen the um that three of swords come up and as soon as i talked about it it came out to show you yes Absolutely, you have been through this Three of Swords, but this Five of Swords lets me know you're healing from this. This Four of Swords tells me it hasn't been easy, but you are healing from it. There is a very happy energy coming in with this healing, with this Three of Cups here. You're healing from something, you're feeling better about something, but you're still up in your head about some kind of information or something that's been secretive or you find out something that kind of stresses you out. We're going to be clarifying that. I'm not clarifying much of this reading because it's just so straight up, but there are pieces that I want to clarify, like the one that we did up here to find out what was going on up here. We're going to be doing more. Okay, so I want to go here and find out what it is that you're stressed out about. Tell us a little bit more about this high priestess in reverse with the nine of swords. What is this that 
the stress where's this um stress source coming from oh, yeah the ten of swords in reverse almost fell out so that means you are healing from something tell me about this high priestess reversed and the nine of swords what do we need to know about it for cancer for december no i'm sorry why am i saying december august august yeah yeah august of 2022 for cancer uh, why is the nine of swords here in the high priestess reverse what is coming out that's stressful for cancer anyone with cancer placements or anyone else who's guided to watch this cancer reading what do they need to know about the nine of swords and yep it's about a partnership every way i look at it now listen <laughs> this actually might be really good because um you just might not see this coming there's the six of cups at the bottom as well it's like and look at it this partner comes in and says like hey will you be mine hey will you marry me hey hey whatever i don't know why you're stressed about this but it could be because you're still healing from something else um but look at it it's gorgeous it's the world and the ace of cups it's the two of cups it's the six of cups it's beautiful it's almost like you get freaked out um yeah i mean it's big it's a big thing we're back down here now this king of swords reminds me so much of this emperor they're probably the same exact person so the person we're talking about here is coming through as strong libra they could also be aquarius or gemini they could also be any sign really but I feel like um, you're healing from whatever happened with this other person, the sneaky, shady person who's coming through, you know, as a possible earth sign or Scorpio um, or air sign. But whatever it is, I feel as though there's somebody very balanced coming in. I mean, we've got justice coming in with the king of swords. This could also be a legal decision that's really coming out on your behalf for sure. We have the Eight of Cups here reversed. You could be revisiting something um, that was of legal nature. And there could be somebody who's involved who is very kindred to you. Two of Cups, Six of Cups, right? Who comes in and it um, gives you some kind of information. Though it's stressful, it helps you get this beautiful new beginning. Um, Ace of Cups, World, and Justice, right? So, and look, Queen of Swords is right next to it. No, and, and Queen of Swords is here. Look at what she's here with. You just got to see what she's here with. She's here with the Two of Cups reverse, but she's here with Strength, the Fool, and there she is, the Queen of Swords. It's like whatever this is, is the new beginning, and it's the strength to take the leap, the leap that needs to be taken here for whatever this is it might be about a partnership so we have a situation where cancer is either something's getting balanced out no doubt about it for cancer whether it's crossing out an old love and entering into a new one this does not have to be love by the way for some of you this is like a business opportunity or a partnership of some other kind but whatever it is you are going to love it it's blessed it's serendipity and it's coming to you courtesy of the universe and you're going to accept it yin you're going to receive right this means you're not the one initiating this i do feel like you're going to be full speed ahead from whatever comes in so i don't feel like you're not doing anything you're definitely taking leaps you're doing something this could also be a leo or any of the other signs i talked about that were positive like a libra or an aquarius or a gemini or a they're the positive signs okay um sagittarius comes through as well and so does aries who whatever this is it's like a very positive leap forward this is either you or this is them whether it's male or female doesn't matter because i have queens and kings in this reading doesn't it doesn't matter right it doesn't matter um whoever this is for you you could be two males two females uh this this gender thing does not matter to me you, that's your job on your end to you know make it work okay so i want to take one quick look at what you're manifesting in here what you're manifesting in here is a healing and it's an opportunity to move forward and get out of all things that included the three of swords the five of swords the painful things you're releasing them you're letting them go tell me more about and you're taking leaps of faith here whatever that is and if you're not the one taking the leap of faith it's going to be an aquarius strong libra libra gemini 
or a Leo or Aries that is, okay? So Leo, Aries, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Whoever is coming towards you, um, if this isn't your action being taken, it's theirs. I have a feeling that someone's coming in to take an action towards you, to make some kind of offer towards you. Again, Yin receives the action. Again, it comes out of nowhere. Boom, and there it is, a huge cup a huge pentacle so whatever way this goes for you for some some of you it's going to be happiness and could be love happiness and love and pentacles i mean it's going to be stability it's going to be happiness it's going to be joy it's going to be a, a lot of good energy here it does constitute someone taking a leap of faith this someone like i said it's going to have a strong libra i feel in their chart aries leo something like that really strongly all right, now let's go into this um, outcome here. So somebody here is, this feels like you, is manifesting in the healing of the heart and the um, and the new cycle. What do we need to know about this? What do we need to know about this um, wheel of fortune coming in with this magician? What do we need to know about it? Cancer reading. Yeah, absolutely. These things both came out on their side as a challenge. So here comes the offer, right? The um, two, I'm sorry. I don't know why I say when I say two of cups. It's the knight of cups. But look at him. He's coming in with an offer. He cares. He loves whatever. And the tower here. They both came out on their side as a challenge. The tower is reversed. So the challenge is for... Um, when I ask about the magician and the wheel, this is manifesting in a, a, a beautiful new cycle. The challenge is to actually, um, I almost feel like this could be an apology or this, oh, I know what this is. The, the accepting of this offer that's going to come out of nowhere, right? After going through whatever you went through with this Scorpio, this tower in your life, this, I'm telling you, this, there was definitely some kind of Scorpio involved that, now whether you know them as a Scorpio or not, and it's going to be, the challenge is whether or not you're going to accept the offer and let that tower go. For some of you, you literally are letting a Scorpio go, or you're going to think about it very strongly because there's this other person coming in that is just way better. I mean, he's an emperor in the upright everywhere I look. He, for me, the emperor is a he. You guys, if you want to flip that energy on your end, please just do that. For some of you, like I said, it does not have to be love, but you are going to love whatever this offer is. So if this is business, if this is a partnership, if this is, um, work if this is a boss if this is a business partner whatever it is you are going to love this and you've been working on manifesting it the problem is whatever this tower was in the past whatever this scorpionic energy was in the past we got to let it go so that you can just have whatever this beautiful i mean this is a beautiful reading if i were to give this to somebody as a personal reading I mean, I, the first thing I'd say to them is you're going to love the new year. You're going to love it. There are blessings upon blessings. So we weren't kidding when we said blessings, serendipity coming in for you. It's gorgeous. Anyway, guys, I know that these are long readings, but again, you have paid for them. I'm going to grab you a couple of angel cards and I'd like to grab you one or two after tarot. So hang in there for one sec. Tell me about how this turns out for cancer. What do we need to know about what's next for anyone who watches this cancer reading and resonates with it? Cancer. Oh, there it is again. I'm telling you, no matter how I look at it, there is an offer coming in to you. I mean, look at it. Offer, offer, offer. And they're just the ones I grabbed. There's probably plenty more around here. There is an offer, and it is of a partnership of some kind. And it is stability. And it is happiness. And it is your new beginnings all came out in the upright. The world, the wheel, the fool, the ace of cups, the ace of pentacles, new energy coming in to say, hey, will you? 
Will you what? Will you be mine? Will you marry me? Will you something? It's nice. I'm going to move on to a couple of angel cards and see what else comes out. What do, what do the angels want anyone who's going to resonate with this gorgeous reading to know about? Wow. Oh my God. I love it. Guys, tenderness. I'm telling you, whoever this person is that's coming in, they are beautiful. But they're coming in on the heels of someone who wasn't beautiful. And that's the hardest part for you. And Spirit says, these are the first two that fell out. And boy, did I feel them. My whole body turned into goosebumps when they fell out. Trust and healing. This is someone you can trust. And Spirit says, trust what's coming in. This is going to help you heal from whatever this was that was sneaky, shady, that you're trying to let go of your life. You really are. As we come into the reading, you're trying to figure out how to let this go. It's like this person, this Scorpio person or whatever this was that you dealt with, I feel as though for some of you, this person's not even in your life anymore, but their energy still affects you. And this person doesn't have to be a Scorpio and you might not know them as a Scorpio, but they come through in a very murky, Scorpionic reversed here energy. This is like the shadow side of a Scorpio. Okay. That's how I feel this energy is. But wow, is it a beautiful reading? There's so much good coming in for you, Cancer. Take the leaps of faith, allow and receive and trust tenderness and healing. I, I loved your reading. This is blessed. This is serendipity. This is the universe sending you yin. You will be receiving if you allow. Okay, guys, please reach out to me. Let me know how these readings went for you. If you enjoyed these readings, thank you so much for contrib contributing to the channel. It's going to help in so many ways. It truly is. I appreciate you so, so much more than you know. I really do. I feel like I'm so blessed to have such beautiful people in my community. Anyway, guys, please reach out and let me know how this, how this reading feels to you. And um, at any time, comment down below. Let me know if you claim it, if you feel like it's your reading, or if any of this made sense to you about this scorpionic kind of energy that was going on with this other, I feel like it's a person you're releasing or a situation where you, you were treated with greed or something here, whether it's a work situation, whether it's a love situation, whatever it is, there was some kind of greed involved in this in some way. Okay. So let me know. Okay, guys, have a good one. Thank you so much. Bye.